What's going on? In this video, you're gonna see me performing street magic for real people in the real world. Well, actually it's performed in a park on a dirt path, so I guess it's not technically street magic. But if this were the medieval times and you were performing magic on a dirt path, that would pretty much be considered a street and therefore street magic. Too bad it's not the medieval times. Anyway, you get what I mean. It's pretty much street magic. I went out into the world and I performed magic for people I do not know. In this case, a buddy invited me out to an English speaking club that was having a barbecue in the park and I thought, aha, uh -huh, this is a great opportunity to bring some magic tricks and make a video for you guys. Plus, for a long time, I'd really been wanting to learn a magic effect called the Omni Deck. This trick is extremely popular among magicians and I had it sitting around in my magic closet for many years gathering dust, and I finally decided, okay, it's time to learn this trick and actually go perform it. So what you're about to see is not actually a polished routine that I've been doing for years. I spent about an hour and a half making a routine for how to justify performing this. And then the morning of, my buddy Justin and I stopped a girl on the street and practiced performing it for her. And that was actually his first time to see it when he recorded it then. Maybe I'll include that as a extra at the end for those of you who are interested in the bonus performance. Anyways, with that being said, let's just jump into the performance. Hey guys, we're gonna try some magic. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is with a marker, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this through my hand it's actually extremely painful, but I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <gasps> oh, what? What? The, I don't know. Is it? Oh, there oh. we go. <laughs> there. Um, can you hold what this? The heck? Okay, we'll try something now with cards. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you hold these? Thank you. So many hands. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So we have uh, all these cards here, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a couple. It doesn't really matter. We'll use uh, these two, six and a nine. Mm -hmm. And uh, in general, with magic, a magician will put a card into the deck and try to find it. I'm gonna make this twice as hard because I'm using two cards. Just like this, two go straight in. But because I'm a magician, because I'm holding the cards, it's actually pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Just like that, I've got the six and the nine again. Okay, but we can make this more difficult, I think. Okay, I want you to just take a card, anyone that you like. One, two. Yeah, and just one. Just one, okay. Okay, and uh, <laughs> go ahead and take, take the marker and put your name on the front of it. And I won't look. She <laughs> dropped the marker. Okay, so they got their name on there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, so this time your card goes... Uh, it's all in the It same. goes into the deck <laughs> a little like this. And how I'm going to make it more difficult, I'm going to have the cards in your hand. Okay? So mm -hmm. hold your hand like this. Yeah? Okay. We'll put this right here and the other hand on top. Okay. Okay. So you can't see. Now I'm going to try to find your card just by touch. So, I have some card. I don't think it's yours. I think it's a ten of diamonds. Let's see. Ten of diamonds. Okay. Can you hold this? Now I'll try to find your card. Okay. Let me see. Okay. There we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now I'm going to make all the cards vanish. All the cards. Ready? Yes. Your card. How? Is it glass? Wow. It's just glass. That's all I it is. I don't understand. All the cards that disappeared. Yeah, pretty much. And he found my card. Oh. The cards turned into the glass. I don't understand what happened. Where is, Where is the card? Where yeah. is? Maybe it was just imagination. It's magic. Oh. It's real magic. Oh. Okay. Do you need Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is really cool. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, it went pretty well. I think there's some things I could improve on there. I felt like I was a little bit like kind of crouched over the deck sometimes, a little too protective. 
And also when she was holding the cards at the end, I was really afraid that she would somehow flash the Omni deck ahead of time. So I was protecting it quite a lot. So I need to think about how I can make that better next time. But anyway, it is what it is. And I just wanted to show you guys a pretty much uncut performance of me doing some magic for people. The funny thing was right after I showed this, the spectator immediately asked for the deck and performed for me the 21 card trick. It's kind of funny because a lot of magicians will complain that spectators always show them the 21 card trick, but I thought she did a pretty good job performing it. I was actually impressed. And afterwards I thought, well, I'm already performing magic. Even though I finished this Omni deck performance, which was really my goal, I brought a few extra things. So I showed some rubber band magic, some crazy man's handcuffs. Let's check it out. So here's another one. You see I have two rubber bands. I'm gonna put this in just like this. You can see they're locked in place. Mm -hmm. They don't come off mm -hmm. the sides, the top, the bottom. They're just stuck on there. Mm -hmm. But if I find the soft spot and I wave it, it just comes free like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go like this. Okay, and then go like this. And curl them. Perfect. Okay, and put your thumbs down on top. Okay, and hold and don't move. Come on here this okay so this one here this one here and if I find the soft spot it just comes through like that oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh actually you know what uh, let me show one more time okay. okay the most important thing is that you have to have two rubber bands because if you only have just one then it doesn't work and then lastly, I did one more piece of magic, which is something called The Little Hand by Michael Lamar. And to be honest, we actually performed this not to capture the magic, but just to get a good thumbnail shot of someone being amazed for the video. I wasn't even planning on showing this. This was just to get the thumbnail for the video of someone going like, ah. But I'll show it to you anyway, because it's short and it's quick and why not? Yeah. I, I can explain how I make things disappear. Okay, I'll do a demonstration. You have these pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Magic that's, pockets. That's the secret, having lots of pockets. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you this is a close up, and this is how I make something vanish, and I'll demonstrate using a coin. So, so if I put this coin right here, watch. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> yeah, so clearly this one always gets really powerful effects and it's funny. I like it. A mixture of creepiness and funny. Unfortunately, from the footage, you didn't actually get to see me performing the magic. And as I said before, that's specifically because my buddy was trying to capture a reaction for the thumbnail. But essentially, this is what it would look like. All right, I'm going to show you how magicians make things vanish using this coin for demonstration. If I put the coin right here in my hand, watch carefully. I use a little helper. Yeah, so it's a great little trick. It's by Michael Lamar, and I highly recommend getting a copy yourself. All right, so that's all the magic that I performed in the park. Please leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought. I realize it was not a completely polished routine. Like I said, I put it together the night before. My general concept was to do a trick with a Sharpie, give someone a Sharpie, pull out the cards, talk about uh, losing a card in the deck, but then stick two in and get them out and say, oh, it's too easy, you hold onto the cards, and then go into the Omni deck performance. That was how I constructed the routine. By the way, if you're a first time viewer here, make sure to check my other videos. I've got lots of magic reactions, magic tutorials, etc. And just as you think I'm about to end this video, surprise, bonus video clip. I just happened to be reviewing that one like practice performance recording I did before this, before we went out to the park. And actually, I almost kind of even like that performance better. So here it is, raw and mostly unedited. <laughs> The same routine you just saw, but performed for someone else in an alleyway. And let's go. Okay, I'm good. Go on, do you wanna? Yeah, okay. Cool. It's recording? Yep. All right. Hey guys, we're gonna try some magic here. What's your name? Alina. Alina, nice to meet you. I'm Jason. I wanna show you something uh, with a marker, a Sharpie. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it right through my hand. Boom, it's gonna be very painful. Mm -hmm. I'll give this a shot, okay? One. Two, three. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> 
And by the way, in this clip, you get to see that disappearing Sharpie more from the spectator's point of view, how it really seems to kind of disappear in the hands. When I perform this in the park, you can totally see me put it behind my ear, but that was kind of intentional because I wanted the viewers at home to be able to see it, but it to be fooling for the people there at the park. Proceeding. Oh no, maybe, yeah. Could you hold this? Okay, perfect. We're gonna try something using cards. <laughs> yeah, it's a real marker. <laughs> um, so I'll like, we'll have a big group later, so I'll have someone hold that. Um, okay, so. I want you to see, I've got a lot of different cards here, a lot of different choices or whatever. And normally, with the magic trick, a magician will take a card, put it into the deck, and then he has to find it. That's his job, that's standard. That's too easy. I'm gonna make this even more difficult because I'm gonna take uh, two cards. Mm -hmm. So let's take this six and the nine, and I'll put one here and another one right in here. They go right into the middle of the deck. And now to find it, it's easy because I'm the magician and I'm holding the whole deck, right? So just like this, now I've got the six and the nine. Boom. However, I can take this up another level, okay? So, how can I improve this? Hmm. I know. I know. I'll have you select a card, any one that you want. Yeah, that. Just one. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I want you to write your name on the front here. Like, your, your name. By the way, maybe I forgot to mention, but I recorded this video in Ukraine, that's where I'm living now, and I don't speak Russian or Ukrainian, so I can only speak with like half of the people, which can sometimes make performing magic challenging, but I try to use a lot of hand gestures and use simple English, and generally most people can kind of understand me. But in that case, my friend Justin holding the camera had to help me out and translate for me. Back to the video. Yeah, and I don't, I don't wanna see. Done? Okay. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take your card and it's gonna go into the middle here. I just gotta say here, I really don't like how crouched over I am. I didn't realize I was doing that. I didn't realize I was like haunching over so much when I'm performing, when I'm putting that card into the deck. But I guess that's the beauty of recording yourself performing. You see areas that you can improve in. Back to the video. Like this. And now I need, uh, can you put your phone down? I need your hands free. Okay, hold your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here. And your other hand on top, so you can't see. Okay, now I'm gonna try to find your card. So if I come in here, I feel one card. It's not yours, it's my favorite card, the 10 of diamonds. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to try to find your card, and it's harder because I don't know what it is, but I'll try to feel your signature. Oh, there it is. That's cool. Okay, last thing. I'm going to try to make all the cards disappear. Okay, ready? Did you feel it? They're gone. The cards are gone. And it's just the <laughs> I have no idea what she just said. Maybe something like, it's plastic, anyway. You can bring the camera in. Yeah. <laughs> Mind freak! <laughs> yeah, and that was actually my friend Justin's first time to see the effect as well, so he didn't know exactly where to aim the camera, and I thought he did a pretty good job anyway. All right, so that's really it. That's all of the performance video I have to share with you. Remember to smash like and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about all of this. I just realized this is kind of like my first time to show a performance of mine and then give commentary on it. It's kind of like I'm reacting to myself. So anyways, guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for subscribing and notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.